<laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that was pretty rad. Oh, my goodness. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Check it out. Here we have the Pro Boat Jet Jam 12-inch Ray Run self-riding pool racer. It's jet-powered. Um, got two of these. One for my kid, one for me. We got his charging. Um, you can see you got different colors and then you got different decal sets that come with it too, which is really cool. Um, they've got a rubber nose on them. Does it show it on here? It doesn't show it on here, but you can put either a rubber nose on it or you can also put a um, it's kind of a scooper. If you're flying airplanes or if one dies, you can drive this out there to get it, to get it back. All right, so first time opening the box, obviously. How we do unboxings here is real. That's all that's in there. So in here you've got your multiple decal sets. Bunch of stickers, manuals. In here it does show you where the decals go. So you got kind of a blue decal set, a yellow set, and then kind of a flame set. This is what we put on my son's white one. We've got the orange one. I may just do the same set, I'm not sure. So the transmitter it comes with. Pretty nice looking. On off, takes four double A's. Here is a stand for your boat. In the bottom of that was your charger, which it charges the lithium ion battery through the balance plug. Here's the battery. In here is four double A's, which are kind of hard to get out without really ripping it apart. So when they say ready to run, like you don't need anything else, guys. Here's the boat itself. Here's the intake, the pump. This is a half or a quarter turn. Push it down. Here's your front pusher deal that'll go on the front. I'm not gonna put this on right now because I don't need it. Um, it's got a nice rubber bumper nose. My son and I, I'm sure, will be slamming into each other. So yeah very simple so I'm going to um, get the choose the decals I want put them on get this battery charging and then we'll be back and show you some fun in the swimming pool so that's what I got it for we got a mediocre sized swimming pool and I think my son and I are gonna have a blast with these there and everywhere else so we'll be back okay here's the decals I chose for mine I think it looks pretty cool I'm excited to go get it going. So batteries are charging, just waiting on that, and then we'll go. So if you were to mount this, it kind of fits on the nose there, has a screw, comes with the Allen, I mean, everything you need. So you could go to the lake, not have it on, have a problem out there with somebody else's or something else, put it on real quick and go and save the day. So all right, when we come back, we'll be in the pond. Okay, here they are. We've got the stickers on them, We've got both boats. Everything is charged up. Batteries are in place. Now remember when you plug it in, there is an on off switch here. And um, yeah, the battery is kind of fun. I went in from this way and kind of clicked it down in there and it goes right up against the motor lead. So I hope that's not a problem. And right up against this little, little tab. I see this one has a little more space in it than this one does. I'm not quite sure why, but it is what it is. So that said, we're going to turn them on and then we're going to put them in the water and let's see what happens for a maiden voyage. Here we go. Here, if you stand up top there, buddy, you'll be able to see better. Pretty cool. Now remember, you got to give it throttle to turn. It's a jet. So if you're not giving it throttle, it won't turn. So these are kind of small for this um, area. But they turn very well. Reverse is non-existent. So reverse is useless. I'm assuming that's only for overturning if it's upside down. They turn pretty sharp though. This is not the biggest pool, and you can see it makes it no problem. <laughs> you just jumped off of me. Yeah, I did. It wasn't on purpose. 
Those are more of a submarine than a boat. Turn my steering trim a little bit here. That was too much. Fun. Yeah, I missed me. Yeah, no reverse. You just gotta. Oh, and you got it. So I think the reverse is for if you're upside down, you hit reverse forward and it writes itself. Oh, miss me again. Uh oh. Sometimes it'll cavitate there and lose a little bit of juice, so you let off the throttle and get some water back in there. Come and get me, skin boy. Ah. I? <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> that was pretty rad. <laughs> oh my goodness, these are pretty fun. Meow. Disappointed there's no reverse though. That would be kind of useful if you get stuck in some weeds or sticks. That reverse does absolutely nothing. It's almost like it doesn't turn in reverse. The prop turns, but it doesn't do anything. Can see. Oh yeah, you stuck sideways. There you go. Oh. Obviously the kids are gonna think it's a derby car. It's a derby boat. <laughs> it works pretty good though. Kind of go oh, I hit a wave, got some air in the impeller. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, <get> away. Oh. <laughs> you know, they, they, they also jump pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust my theory. <laughs> <laughs> They're heavy. Nah, uh, I didn't get them to be demos. I figured we could race. Take her it. Oh, you got me. Uh-oh. My steering quit working on mine. That's weird. All right, let's open it up and see what's going on inside there. I'm the champion. You can see it's stuck off to one side there. I haven't opened it up yet. Hatch fits pretty good. Hopefully there won't be any water inside. Oh geez Louise. What? Mine's full of water. Oh, no so wonder the servo doesn't work. That's not good. Come here buddy, let's check yours out and see what yours has going on in there. Can you bring it here to me? Oh there's. Okay. okay, let's see what's going on in this one. Stop, please. Oh yeah, look at that. That's not good for anything. I see why they didn't put a brushless motor in there, because it's going to be running in the water all the time. Shoot. I think we're going to go again. 
Yoink. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do about mine, unfortunately. Okay, so I turned it off and back on. It's working again. I don't know for how long. It was making a little bit of a buzzing sound, but... <clears throat> so I would probably check them periodically for water inside, because apparently they're quite leaky. Are you? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're stuck on the hoses. Let her up here, Chip. <laughs> hey, good, good. If you go slow, it turns real. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> so slow, it turns really sharp. Still no rewind though. <laughs> Take my booster. Daddy. Gotcha. Bag. That's a hydroplane. Pretty fun. Oh, cheapers. <laughs> Ow. Pretty fun. So the white bow is being driven by my just turned eight year old. That was his present. You stuck again there, bud? Yeah. No, you're not. Go. It came loose. So I had to get one for myself as well. They had a deal uh, about a month ago or so for a discount on it. So I'm like, well, we'll get two at the same time. Good now. There goes Rick K and his Cub Special up there. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. I've ridden in that airplane. It's pretty cool. Hey Dad, surf, surf, surf. You surf making hot laps around my boat, boy? Yep. Oh. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty fun. That. Ooh. <laughs> this water issue, getting water inside of them. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, that was full. Can't be good for it. That. I'm gonna call it good for mine, so we're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna leave the hatch off overnight and let it dry out and uh, do some research and see if there's a way to keep that from happening. Always unplug your batteries. Hard to do one-handed, but you get the point. The now eight year old self right because it's so easy. Even he's got it. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed that and found it useful. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do a little research on water getting in these things because they take on a lot of water. But other than that, it was pretty fun. Pretty good run time. I didn't time it, but I mean, it had to have been at least 10 minutes. Um, I'll review the footage and see if it I can kind of make sense of it But the boy was happy mm -hmm. And it was a lot of fun. So that was the point. So like comment subscribe check out the links down below in the description And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Peace. Peace